time, time man. Every time. That shit Every is so time. hard. Well, welcome back, y'all. We is here, you know, straight fucking chilling. Your boy, Maticles, a.k.a. Thug Dog, a.k.a. McArdle Sandwich, a.k.a. Lightning McArdle. Keep it coming. Keep it AKA coming. A.k.a. Fuck, you got me. I can't. I got it. I got Maddie actually, Ice. Maddie, Maddie Ice, Ice Maddie baby. Ice. I got to get back on these shits. I had a couple new ones too over the off season, but I, uh, right. I can't seem to remember any of them. Right. And uh, oh, you had a new one for me. Do you remember what it was? I did have a new one for you, and I think it was Madigals, aka. Was it? Oh no! Was that you or somebody else? Maddie Frogman. I think it was someone else because. Uh, oh no! Dennis yeah, Frogman. Dennis Frogman. Yeah, Dennis Frogman. You'd be was catching them frogs, boy. Because we'd be out there catching them toads. Toad. Shout out to My Way Entertainment. Uh, and yeah, and it's your boy Lolo, uh, aka the Big Dipper, aka the Brightest Light. And we here, episode two, dog, season two, episode two. Season two, episode two. I don't know. Was previous one episode one? I don't even know, really. Because it was like a prequel. It's season two episode whatever, dog. That's all you gotta know. Yeah, it's season it's two. Really that's really all you gotta know. Yeah, you know. Coming at you. Who knows? That could have been an. That could have been an intro. That could have been a. Could have been an outro. We fucked up. Yeah, put it exactly. in the front. Who knows? Who knows? No one else. No one else. It could have been. Yeah. Who the hell yeah? <clears throat> well, uh, as you guys see, you know, you got your official Wook in the fucking corner over there. Did we ever get a name for him? Uh, I just think that's, um, uh, I like it too. Yep. Stone Baca. I was trying to think of what <laughs> Chubanga was the first Ooh, one I thought of, but nice. I was like, oh. That's better than mine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get there. Maybe, maybe we'll get some, man. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Shout out. Uh, Maybe we'll get some uh, submissions from the fans. Maybe we'll get some... Uh, yeah, if you got any idea what we should call uh, our masterpiece right here, our uh, official mascot for Wookiesburg Pog, let us know, dog. Because we need some help. Yeah, we do, actually, because he, he needs a very unique name. Oh, bye-bye, Bulbasaur. Holy shit. I mean, use Vine Whip! Ow! Like, uh, you fucked. God damn it. We gotta take him to the Pokey Center, dog. <laughs> I'm glad. Damn, that. I'm surprised you know what that is. Come on. You'll be ready for Pokemon Trivia in no time. Yep, and the first order of Pokemon Trivia is you got to watch the Pokemon short documentary that we released last week. Yes, because there will be uh, trivia questions based on the documentary. Got a lot of good reviews on that. That thing that thing hit the airways. And That's just a masterpiece, bro. It's pretty <laughs> hitting, man. That is a masterpiece. I know, bro. And just think, if we actually uh, put some time into something, we could probably make it golden. Uh, there was some time put into that shit. I'll yeah, tell you right. that. Well, you always put time into editing. I think if we also put, spent we months put editing the Captain Special, so that definitely was time put into that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But remember, we 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 specifically went on that camping trip just for that camping special. That's what I'm saying. That shit is. The, the only thing is it's not that it would be better or worse it's just that you know these have been short films so far like if we just if we had f- f- six hours worth of footage we could definitely put a full length feature together already that's true you the are right about that the way we're doing it we already have a lot of stars you know we got Thug Dog we have Thug Dog we got Grava King we got Dick Slumpback Dick Slumpback yes that's a yeah. that's a new one He's that a- dude was a character but Dick Slumpback bro I had fun interviewing that motherfucker yeah he was, uh, that was the, he was a expert on... Uh, I think he was like a 90s his pop historian or some shit oh, like that, pop culture right. historian. Yes, that's right. Something like that. That's right. He's actually supposed to come on the show one time. Yeah, late millennial uh, um, historian, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You said Dick Dick Slumpback's about to come on the show. Yeah, I, I think I think we uh, I seen somewhere in the schedule that name. So maybe he can. I mean, maybe he can call in one of these episodes you have coming up. You know, I'm going. Uh, I'm, I'll be gone for a month and a half coming up. I got some business to attend to. I'm going to be on location shooting for our next film. Uh, shit, maybe you can have him call in one of those days or some shit. Probably. You can I interview him on the show. Point. You know. He's got a lot to say, man. He's got, I mean, like, Pokemon's just one topic. You know, he's, yeah, he's, he's got a, a lot to say he's about, a historian of, about those times. of the best 
the best decade ever, the 90s. For sure. Hey. <laughs> Even though I was only conscious for half of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but shit, fuck it. Yeah. It was still a good, still a good decade. That was your shit, man. If, so, being born in 1990, right, I wish, like, I wish I was, you know, past the toddler age at 1990 instead of having been born at 1990. Because yes. I feel like those early years, like, even though we saw the rest of the 90s and they were the shit, I feel like even those beginning ones must have been pretty fucking awesome, too. But we just weren't really, like, you know, we were toddlers or, like, whatever, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, trust me, I remember. Like, I wouldn't mind I being born around, like, 88, 87, you know what I'm saying? So you get those, boom, by 95, you're already yeah, almost I mean, 10. I was born in 89, so I was right on the yeah. desk. Nice. Yeah, we all nice. couldn't be born in 71 like my girlfriend, you know. True, true. 71? <laughs> Got her. 80. I just started doing crazy math in my head, bro. Like, I'm not good at math either, so I was fucking like, man, what the fuck? No way. 82, sorry. 82. <laughs> Excuse me, she's gonna probably have me for that one, huh? Yeah. Well, since we are here, we might as well talk a little bit about uh, the league. It is uh, full. League is full? League nice. is full. Nice. So um, we're back up to how many people then? 12. 12 people. You can't play fantasy football without 12 people. I guess. Is that a rule? I mean, it's, it's a rule if you're playing in a real league. If you got 10. I can hear you. If you got 10, then that's just slap dick ass shit. Right, right. I mean, the more people, the more money, right? That too, the more people, the more money. But you can't have too many, because then it's, that changes the league completely. Right, Like right. I'm in a couple crazy leagues that are that big, but they're not for money, they're free. How do you feel about free leagues? Like, how many... Like, obviously, you can't be spending big bucks on every fantasy league, to, you know, but... As someone who likes fantasy as, as much as you, what are your thoughts on free leagues? Like, like what percentage of your leagues are free leagues? The leagues that you're in. I mean, remember, I I tend to play too many leagues, but yeah, so I do limit myself on money leagues. I will play obviously one my one big money league, which is this one, and sometimes I'll play a second big one, but I won't try. I'll tend to not do more than four to five money leagues for you know. If it's 10 or 20, that I don't really count that as a money league because, you know, you're playing a whole season for 20 bucks, so it's like, whatever. But I, I won't I won't play no more than, like, two, two big, you know, I won't play no more than two for over 100 and then one smaller one. Because with the more leagues you have, then you start having, you know, you run into where you're always playing each other, you have... You know, oh, this this league, I have this guy, this league, I'm playing against him, you know, so. Yeah, I guess like it, you would get to a certain point where it's, like, counterproductive. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I just do all the free ones, and usually I make my free ones a lot different. So it'll be, whether it be weird, crazy scoring, crazy rosters, big leagues, all types of shit like that. Right. So I've always wanted to do something. in a coach league. Right, that's you have a coach league, that's crazy. I'm trying to get back into that one this year, actually, a different one. I've always wanted to do something like a fantasy basketball league with crazy like multipliers. Like if you get a triple double, that's thirty points extra. If you get like a quadruple double, you get an extra forty five points. Something oh, that's like not something point. crazy. That, that, that doesn't triple doubles don't give you extra points. In, in it fantasy? it all depends on what your league settings are. I mean, like it could just be like nothing really. Um, I I prefer to like I'm trying to think what the equivalent in like football would be but like yeah like if we're talking fantasy basketball like I feel like if you get a double if your player gets a double double you should get a few extra points for that that's like a double double is pretty common if your player gets a triple double that's a little bit you know more you know it's becoming more common now because like there's just freak athletes yeah, in that league hell yeah, bro. but it's still getting a triple double is like a big deal you know what I'm saying so you should get some extra league. points for that and then, of course, if you get a quadruple double with, like, how often does that shit happen, then, like, for sure, yeah, at, at minimum, you should get 40 points. Minimum. Maybe more. If your player scores, like, 60 points, you should get, like, an extra whatever point. I don't know. Like, you know. So I think it's fun having that shit in there sometimes, too. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember, like I said, mine, I'm still, mine's going to be pretty much the same as last year, scoring-wise. I, uh, I don't think I'm, as far as I know, I'm not changing anything. Uh, maybe... May take a couple little votes during the draft just to see if people want to, or I rather before the draft. You know, maybe to see about 
a couple kicker changes or whatnot, but that's about it. Points are pretty much going to stay the same. Um, okay. We're still riding from last year. No vetoes. Everything rides through the commission. <laughs> no veto. That was, bro, I remember last season that was like, that was such a big deal <laughs> when you said no vetoes live on air. Remember that moment like it was yesterday. That was one of my favorite moments from season one. I do remember it like it was yesterday. You just said, fuck it. We're riding. Uh, yeah, I got tired of it, man. Being a commission is hard, especially when you have uh, unruly participants. Vetoes are like, bro, veto seems like that's like... I understand there's a time and place for something like that, but that just seems like childish shit to me sometimes, like the way it ends up being, the way it ends up working out sometimes. It's just like, yo, who the fuck cares what... I don't know, someone doesn't have not, nothing to do with this trade... Yeah. Thanks. It's like, you know, if someone... Now, if so, like I said, there's a time and place. So if there's, like, something nefarious going on, like, hey, I'm going to give you this player wink wink yeah, type of shit, and then for sure you seen squash that. that shit, right? That's up to the commissioner for sure. But I mean, like, if someone's dumb enough to take a stupid trade, like, yo, that's on that person, exactly. bro. That's, like, that's how we used to look at it, bro. Like, we, used to, we used to just laugh at the one person that was, you know, accepting this stupid trade right. and go on with it. But now it's, like, just such a cutthroat fucking... World, bro. You, 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 uh, do you think it relates to like cancel culture in real life? Do you think it's like someone is trying to stick up for somebody else, but that somebody else don't even give a fuck themselves? Of about course, the shit. Of course. Some people just get it like worked up. Yeah, which exactly. Is the same. It doesn't even. <laughs> hey, but he's trying to rip you off. He's trying to give you. He's like, yeah, no shit. I accepted the trade. I know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm sure because you probably have people coming to you like once a year, like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, and I don't know why. For sure, I mean, hey, sometimes a trade hits, sometimes a trade doesn't hit. You know what That's I'm it, saying? Bro. Just like a draft, sometimes a draft hits, sometimes it doesn't hit. You know, I, you know, eh. That's it. So what if there's a? So what if there's like a history of the trade not working out in your favor. It shouldn't really matter, you know? I mean, does it, though? I, th I, don't, I think the trade has never really worked out for him. Yeah, yeah, for sure, but so I'm only one, you know... You have more wins than he does, though. I have more wins than anybody in that league, I'm pretty sure. I might be tied with John. I'm not... I don't remember exactly, but I definitely have... Um, multiple wins in that league and and every time somebody's calling coming to you about a trade it's always that you're the one getting the shit in yeah but I think more so than that really being it I feel like everyone really is trying to say that if they're trying to get you to trade with them if they're, or if they're trying to trade for someone oh, like that specific can be like you have yeah, yeah. so like I would say that shit to somebody too I'd be like yeah, uh, you know while you know some people lie and just say hey this and this and this but the way I would do it really is, I'm, and I'm not fucking re re revealing shit here, so it's like, yo, I, I would, you know, I'm obviously might try to skew some of the facts in my favor, but the, like, the point is, like, the fact, like, the uh, stats are the stats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, um, you can't, like, bypass stats, like, when you compare the player head, head up, you know? So... Some, some, you know, some. Everybody has a different opinion and a different outlook on players. So that's why we were saying, like, yeah, I'm the one that approved the fucking trade. Like, for you to be vetoing something that you know, some people just. Uh, so the way I see it is, some people take are willing to take more risk than others yeah. in everything in life, right? So when it comes to a trade, you might be like, hey, that's a risky trade. He's like, yeah, but maybe I'm, you know. Whatever, maybe I'm the type of person and to bro, take that everybody's risk. paying their own fucking entry fee. So like nobody, it's like when people are like, oh, they're nobody's fucking out here splitting money and shit to fucking right. win. Like, yeah, it's it's not like that, bro. Just let the, where these trades are gonna. And if they did, we find out and we come for your ass. Wait till you see the trades that fly this year. There's we are, we have a we, it's a new group here. We got a new group of guys and gals, and I, you know, I, I think I think I'm digging. it. I think we got a, a hefty lot, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people that are ready and yeah, um, enthusiastic about the league. So mm -hmm. 
I think uh, I think we're gonna I think it's gonna be an exciting year this year. I think so too. And you really hit the diversity quota too. You got a good you got a yeah, good mix. We definitely do. Good mix. Bringing in some uh, some oldies. Yeah. Some newies. Right. You know, we got them all. We got them all. Are you how many? Um, damn, I can't wait to see all like the name the the name changes that are gonna go down before this draft. It's funny. I was actually going through my phone, deleting all, like all my pictures and shit, just clearing space and shit. And then I came across like all the pictures of the different names and shit from last year. So I made sure to save them just so we can like compare who keeps and who stays. Yeah. Like pay homage to the names and shit. Yes. Yeah, I believe I think I think I did say that I um, I need to I'm gonna stay with all my names and ride out with them forever. Right. I'm gonna get shit made with that name on it, you know. I might change it occasionally on a week basis, you know, here and there to face a certain person. But yeah, I've learned that uh, you just gotta you gotta just keep your namesake and, and ride it. You know? I believe you've done that, haven't you? i yeah, but I like changing names too. Really, to be honest with you. Um, I was notorious for changing names back in the day too. I'll still do it, really. Um, I'm not married to like one name in particular, really. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure for the most part of most of my leagues, I was gonna just ride out with whatever name I had. Might change a couple just to make sure I have the good ones. But I believe this one is Lambo Calrissian. You know, fits the the Wookiees perfect. So I think I'm, I'm chill and vibe with that shit. I can't hear you. I said, I think I'm going to chill and vibe with the Lambo Calrissian because it fits with the fucking, yeah. the Wookiesburg theme, baby. For sure. For sure. I think, like, I'm, there's, like, some people out there that, like, they change their name based on, like, who's on their team specifically. Like, I've never really done that. So, like, I'll, I'll pick so a I random name, that. but it won't be based on, like, the players that I have. I used to like do that. that based, like, do the team, you know, the, the look for the funny names of the players and shit but yeah that's what I said like that's what I, I heard you know to try to get away from that and you know yeah. pick a name and cause you know when your right. name ends up on that trophy you don't want it to just be some name you used one year yeah Th- that I mean like yeah yeah I feel you on that for sure trying to create like a legacy and shit cause you know I keep, yeah. t- I keep talking shit but we are gonna have a, an official trophy soon mm-hmm. I hope at the same time, though, the way, like, fuck, like, the league, like, the league I'm in, like, it's on, like, whatever, like, the league is on Yahoo, right? So you kind of just have it, the history, you have it by, like, user or whatever, so it's like, eh, I said have it to my name. <laughs> Plus, new name each year means new merchandise, baby, more money. People got to get that new jersey, dog. That's true. I mean, like, I'll be a motherfucker. I'll be like LeBron switch numbers, like, halfway through my career, dog. You motherfucker, I'm making y'all buy that shit. Four yeah. times. Fuck yeah. He might change his number again. Shit. I wouldn't put it past him. Because they're saying they might retire number six because of Bill Russell? Oh, no, it is retired. They did retire? I, th- I thought I seen it. Yeah, so, like, I don't know if they meant, like, retired league-wide, like, no one's going to No, I thought I again. seen like, league-wide. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And yeah, I did so. think about it. I was like, wait, isn't LeBron still number six? And then, so, yeah, I was like, that he's gonna have to lose his number again. Cause like re- retired league wide, like maybe that just means like they put it up in the rafters league wide. Cause like you know like if My- Michael Jordan's number would be retired for sure, but LeBron was still. No, believe it or not, so like, believe it or not, Michael Jordan's only retired by the Bulls and the Miami Heat. That's crazy. Weird as fuck, right? That is crazy. Cause yeah, his jersey is up there, and I was like, the that I, 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 you, I seen it too, so I had I had assumed too that it was retired by the NBA, but obviously you've seen people that want, they were number twenty three, but yeah. Maybe the maybe the the team he owns too might have retired it. The Hornets, maybe. Uh, possibly. So don't, maybe I, the I, the Wizards, I would think. But I do know that he Wizards was the, he was the one random team that retired. That is why you see it hanging up there. Yeah, I found that out. And then yeah, my uh, Michael Jordan is retired by the Bulls in the Heat. So yeah, so they're saying they might do that for Bill Russell. Which if they do that, would be like no, here crazy. it is. Bill Russell has his number six retired league wide, the first and thus far only NBA tape yeah. and pl- NBA player to receive the song. So it sounds like LeBron would have to change his yes. number. Yes, yes. But yeah, so I thought I don't know why I thought they did it for 
Kobe, but yeah, I guess it was just because was, you're not the guru and I am. You're right. I didn't know about the heat though. And the Michael Jordan shit. I don't know. I don't remember how I learned. I think because I remember seeing it and I had thought, like I said, the same thing. I thought it was retired by everybody. Yeah. I always thought it was cool whenever I went there and seen it. I was like, yeah, bro, these motherfuckers know how to show respect where it's due. At the time, he was only the second player to get retired by a team he didn't play for. That's crazy. Now, I guess Kobe would be another one because he never played for the Mavericks. Right. Why did they retire his number one? Maybe, yeah, maybe the same thing. I was just about to say the same reason that he did, huh? Respect. Respect, respect. I would retire that motherfucker. Bro, there's not like, there's not an arena in the country that he didn't beat the fuck out of that team at and it, through the course of his career, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I would, I would, I would say that dude's jersey needs to be retired in every arena for sure. Now like, yeah, as to which one, both numbers, whatever, like whatever, that's, you know, I don't know, but. That motherfucker needs to, yeah, for sure. How are you? R.I.P. 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 Kobe. I think it's a time. I think it's a time. I think it's time. It's. It's time for a word from our sponsors. Ah. Be right back, y'all. All right. Hefty new sponsor. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hmm? Yeet, yeet. Oh, true. And then we got, you know, the people that will be hiking the wilderness. Right. You know, that will be new member Bra Leo. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker's team's gonna get auto picked, bro. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's he, we, we made it. We got a date. We got a date that maybe he can he can pick. But I joked with him, and he didn't even get the joke because I was like, I was like, oh. If you auto pick, then that would make your team good. He's like, no, I wouldn't make it. Good. No, he's like, he's like, oh, I've seen people win with auto draft. You're right. Yeah. Nah, buddy. Shit, I might auto draft. I might have to auto draft too, for my other league. So who knows? I might be talking shit. I might have to auto draft. That's another story. Auto draft. Dang. Remember one one year my whole league auto drafted. Wow. Yeah, back in the day Yahoo had a lot of fucking like they, they didn't have enough, a lot of leeway. I would do a league where it's just like auto drafted and play it out. See what happens. Like everyone, right? Like yeah. everyone agrees to like yeah. auto draft. Well why not? I would fucking do it too. Why the fuck not? But you would have to make sure nobody, because you you can like set your queue and shit. So there'd be I don't think there's a way for you to tell. Oh no, I think you can just pick auto draft. You might, yeah, maybe yeah. You, you can just, just pick draft auto-draft. options, yeah, auto draft. Yeah, yeah, you can. Because like I said, that was that happened in my league one time. Bra, bra, Leo, Plugger, and who else? Um, who's the third? Pierogi, pierogi. Pierogi, pierogi. Yeah, so that's all three. That's crazy. Well, we have all 12 members set. Set, locked, Dope. loaded, locked, cocked, and ready to unload. Nice. Someone's yeah. catching that load, baby. Hell yeah. Somebody is catching that load. And it ain't gonna be me. Nah, hell nah. Also, too, in case you did not hear, the draft will be filmed for an episode of the podcast. Awesome. That's crazy. In case you in case you guys did not hear, the draft will be filmed for the podcast. The draft will be filmed for the podcast? Filmed. Wow, so for an wow. episode. That's unprecedented access, like some behind the scenes. Behind shit. the scenes of wow. the draft. Some access, full access to the draft. I wanna see that shit like a war room, dog, like you're like uh, let's Let's take a look into the fucking Cowboys draft room, and it's just, they're just fucking going in. Yeah, but there's just fucking five white dudes sitting at a table like this, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get interviews with any commissions that are down. Uh Uh-huh. Multiple phones in front of you. For sure. Multiple. You're just checking constantly, and you're always constantly on the phone with one of them at the same time. 
That's true. I'll probably be on the phone with people that are drafting, actually. And shit, man. It's fucking approaching fast, y'all. Football season's here. Tua for, Tua for MVP. Yeah, we, we uh, what, the first, uh, the first game of the preseason just finished. So, did, did you see us uh, come back? Uh, nope. Don't even know what happened. We came back and I had to, uh, I had to get down on my knee in order to make a miss the field, field goal. And the knee never fails, baby. So, <clears throat> the offense won on a missed field goal at the end after they came back? Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Our this is my favorite. Our third string quarter, our rookie quarterback brought us back. Nice. That's awesome. With some wood his, with his legs. That's awesome. Yeah, Mac Jones didn't play the first Patriots preseason game, so I only yeah, got I mean, to see... Yeah, typical Bill Belichick type. Yeah, for, I, for sure, I wasn't excited. Two, I didn't play either. Yeah. Neither did so, Tyree. I didn't get to see much. But, um... This is my favorite time of year, to be honest with you, bro. This is my favorite time of year, dog. This is that... That beautiful, unmistaken, unmistakable time of the year where... Dolphins fans are getting super hyped about preseason and their team and the hopes not for even, the season. We're not even hyped. The, the, the ah, hate is I love real. It. The hate I is love real. It. And you know, there's one guy out there, bro. When Who? He's, when he's not fueled by the fucking haters. Okay. I said when there's one guy out there when he's not fueled by the fucking haters. Who? Tua. 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 You want a water bet right here? Our first water bet? Tua does better than Mac Jones? Nah, I ain't better than that shit. <laughs> Tua's got two of the best receivers in the fucking game. You better do some shit. The fuck? All right. You heard it here first. Mac Jones got Nelson Aguilar. No dog. dog is <laughs> not hating. I never hit it on two. I, 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 I said it did. last episode. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah so for sure, people so. are hating, bro. People yeah. are hating the hate. I made it on the Dolphins as a as a whole. Well, yeah, you, you, you have to. You have to. <laughs> of course. But yeah, that's two. Two is one of the brighter spots on the Dolphins, really. Mike Kosicki's good as fuck too. Xavier Howard's always been that dude, you know. Well, Come on, bro. I can't hate I just, on that. Two is gonna prove the. Po- I, I, He's gonna prove people wrong. Or I hope so. I hope so. Now, that's what I like. In, in Matter of fact, that's the name of this episode. To uh, haters will say to a sleep. Yeah, something like something, something like that. that. To uh, prove the haters wrong the, for sure. The, the editors will figure it out. But as a Patriots fan, I gotta say, you know, like he can only get third best in the division. You know what I'm saying? Because first, we I think we both gotta acknowledge first is Josh Allen. That dude is on a crazy level Man, right that guy's now. A beast. And then of course is your boy. The white boy wonder is number two in that division. So not anymore, bro. And I ain't talking about Zach Wilson. Shit, bro. No, no. I can't even. I'm not. I can't talk about the Dolphins. Bro. Yeah, just might have to start Joe Flacco, dog. We just gotta watch. Oh, I seen that he got hurt. I didn't even. I seen that. What's his name? I don't even know. Is Joe Flacco still on the team? First of all, now Maybe. that I say that, he might not even. I'm about to check right now. Yeah. But bro, do you know what Tua has been doing during the off season? What? That boy's been playing a good old pickleball. Really? He's on the Jets. He's about to start. Good old pickleball, bro. What's pickleball? Pickleball, bro. I got my racket right here, motherfucker. Oh, shit. And I got the ball, boy. We stay ready. You ain't Yo. ready, boy. Too bad you ain't ready. Think again, son. I oh, stay ready with that shit, shit boy. Oh, and it's gone. That was good, though. That was good while it lasted. Love that. You see the dragon? I Ooh, think she named him. Me. I think she named him Dragamora. Dragamora? Yeah. Nice. It's like nice. Uh, it's a it's a original. It's a Kamara dragon. So. Ka- okay, got you, Kamara. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As in Albert Kamara. Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. 
I hope he plays. Is he going to play this year or what? Yeah, why do people think he's not playing? I don't know. That dude seemed to not play a lot. After I drafted him in the second round of a draft today, somebody was like, is Kamara even playing? And I, and I just laughed my way to the bank. As I then drafted Javante Williams and Cam Akers. Nice. My four running backs are Joe Mixon, Alvin yeah. Kamara, Cam Akers. That's and nuts. Javante. <laughs> That's nuts. They're idiots. They all started draft. It's a two receiver league, and they all started drafting receivers early as fuck. So I got all those running backs. I have, I have Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady, and then I have uh, my receivers are Chris Godwin and Jalen Waddle. Is he going to be ready for game one? Who? Godwin, maybe, maybe not. But I have, I had a replacement. Um, you got that boy. Oh, Mike Williams. I swear to God, I was about to say Mike Williams, dog. Shut the fuck off from the Chargers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he still on the Chargers? Yeah, yeah. Bro, that dog. guy's gonna be a beast. I this swear year, to God, I was about to say Mike Williams. That guy's gonna be a beast. This year. He's like your typical like oh, I lied. third so receiver, I like they, pick, bro. Like I forgot, I had typical. Waddle. I had Waddle before they reset the draft. But so my other receiver that's on the bench is. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Okay. Okay. Who, who apparently is he played, healthy for the start? Bro, apparently he's played. He played a hundred percent of the snaps, so he's the clear cut number one for the Kansas City Chiefs. Who? Juju Smith. Oh, he's Schuster. on the Chiefs. Yes. Oh shit! What? When the fuck did he go to the Chiefs? Boy, am I sleep as fuck? Sleep. I'm sleep as hell. Are we giving out spoilers to sleep people over here? The, sl- the low, low sleep. You better put week. that in your notebook for your draft, bro. Yeah. Oh, well, weren't we supposed to do the, what was it called? The sleep of the week or the low, low sleep something? Low, low Dude, that's it right there. Sleep buddy of the week. No, that was Brett. Brett. It was Brett's. Now nah, we said last episode. Brett's bust. It was Brett's bust. No, 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 no. But last, last episode we said that we were, we were about to do uh, a low, low story or some shit. Like something. I don't know. Damn, I forget. Oh, we gotta, for we, real? We you said something? Back. You, you said it. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot what it was, but uh, yeah. That's it right there. All right, well, I think we said it once and we say it again. This this year is going to be, we got a lot of things in the works. You know, we might, might uh, you might end up seeing an episode or two without, without my faithful co-host, so we'll see if that's even possible. Yeah. If I'll even be able to, Run an episode I'm going on a labor strike, so we're going to have some co-hosts cycle in and shit. They're going to audition, try to take my job. I don't fuck with that. Or uh, or you, you're not, you sure you're not going to be away filming on location? Yeah, that too, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, shit, yeah. So yeah, like I said, we, we, we got some, we got some trivia coming to the league for some bonus money thinking about I'm gonna ask you guys about raising the price twenty dollars. So a hundred and twenty dollar buy in. Inflation, right? No, I just wanna be able to do more. I just wanna like have, you know, a couple more payouts. You know, maybe have two weekly bonuses. Just to make keep people interested and motivated, you know? Right, so I have more opportunity a, for you to win more money. Exactly, it's a year long. You know, it's a, not. I guess not a year long, a season long thing, for you to just win money in the end. So I'm trying to keep it interesting throughout the year to you know give more opportunities. Right, because you know right. day, daily fantasy is trying to take over, and you know and these uh, best balls and shit. So we got to keep things hot and spicy, man. Right, right. That mixed with no vetoes, bro. <laughs> Recipe for disruption, and, and mix with what and the shit we got planned. You know, it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be uh, as 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 we would say, muy bueno, muy boy, very good, very good, very good. Wookie's burger, very yeah, good, very good. What did we learn? What did we learn last year on, on Lolo Spanish word? We had a whole bunch of them, dog. Damn, we had a whole Tom bunch Brady of them. Tom Brady as goat. Tom Brady's goat. Tom Brady as grande goat. Grande yeah. pinga. <laughs> El mucho. Mucho grande pinga. 
Did I just say I like him? <laughs> Wait, mucho is like, isn't it? <laughs> mucho is a lot. Like, very, very so, oh, much. So very much. Yeah. So very grande pingo. Yeah. Oh, so me gusta grande pinga. I know. <laughs> right, that's I like. Clip that right there. <laughs> that's I like, right? We're going to play that for you one more time, folks. Te amo grande pinga. Yeah. There we go. Sacame la leche de la pinga. Yeah. You, you, well, you, you know what they call me. They call me the the grande pinga. So you speak in my language, dog. Um. Are we just gonna go in the closet right now, or what? Uh, yeah. you got one. Is that what that door is? No, that's the front door. Oh, then. <laughs> and that's another episode of uh, Wookiesburg Park. De Wookiesburg.